welcome back to the channel guys so in today's video this is what we are making i'm so excited to recreate this style so at this point now i went to the market and i also got a bridal satin with the same color so i got a four yard bridal satin actually it doesn't have a stretch to it to it just a normal bridal satin so and this is in gold color just in case you're wondering so now i've gone ahead to fold the fabric into two like this and i'm going to be using my basic bodice pattern so if you don't know how to create a basic bodice pattern there is a video on my channel that is going to explain everything for you from start to finish okay so it's going to make it easier for you while creating this outfit so right now i'm just placing the basic bodice pattern on top of my folded fabric and as you can see i've actually moved the pattern inwards so it's not actually at the edge okay reason being that since this, this is going to be a wrapped dress so we need this part so that we can be able to wrap it inwards okay it can, it can literally overlap each other so now after measuring that out if you notice, notice what i did i just marked that from the top shoulder um shoulder point outwards that is towards the um the waistline okay but not directly on the waistline like let's say 1.5 inch before the waistline that was where the tape stopped and mind you the distance from the shoulder point to that point that we just stopped is 20 inches the next thing for me to do right now is to cut on the waistline so just notice how i'm going to be cutting this so i'm going to be cutting this directly towards the waistline of the pattern paper okay then i'm also going to be cutting out the neckline so I'm going to fold over my pattern paper and then I'm just going to cut it directly but not directly on the waistline. Just have to add like half inch so you can have what to use to sew, um, to join both the top and do it down part together. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the armhole and the shoulder and you know that's just it. So once we are done with the front, now it's time to cut the back part. So right now I've already folded the fabric into two like this. Now I'm going to be bringing in the back pattern of the blouse. Now you will notice that at this point now I've already folded this part in. That's because at the back of this gown we will not need to have any joining because we don't need any zip. Okay. So this part that actually has a zipper allowance, I'm going to fold that in or better seal. If you're placing it on fold on the fabric just like how i'm doing you just have to go ahead and then push it out all right so that the 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 zipper area would not interfere with the main fabric so that does it so at this point now i'm going to also fold it over like this this method is just very simple okay if you, once you have your own personal basic pattern it's very simple so just fold it over like this and then you will have the half length of the basic body so just go ahead cut it out like that and then cut out the, the armhole the shoulder and the neckline and that's it you have just one full piece for the back so once that is done you're going to go ahead to cut out the arm for the gown all right so this is it i'm going ahead to also fold my fabric into two like this now this is the pattern for the hand okay so i'm going to fold it into two also in this manner then i'm going to place it on top of my fabric like this so now notice that the handle of the sorry the hand in the in the style is not literally straight okay because this is like my normal basic sleeve pattern so it's not since it's not really straight like this i'm going to do something towards this now i'm going to be measuring some inches down here like up to four inches down now this is going to save as the area that's going to be puffing up okay now also by the side here i'm not going to be cutting it slantly as in into the main hand the main um sleeve i'm going to be allowing some inches too like i'm going to be cutting it straight okay just look at what, what i'm doing so this is how i'm going to be cutting it then I'll just cut it out reason being that i just need the puff sleeve okay so if you don't want to do it this way you can do the normal slash and spread method but i didn't want to go ahead to do that so that's why i just had to do this so once you're done with that let's move ahead to cut the down part so you need to notice that on the picture we have a double stay flannel right 
okay so let's see how this is gonna work for us so i'm gonna head to fold it into two at first so now i'm folding it um together now so this is like four pieces now what you're seeing and this is folding it into four okay because you want to cut out a full flare like 360 so that's why i'm doing this so i'm going to go ahead and fold it like this okay folding it half like if you are bending it into a triangle so this is what i'm going to be doing exactly so at this point now after folding it over like this the next thing is for you to divide your waist measurement by eight so once we divide our waist measurement by a is whatever it is you're going to have just take it down to the waistline and then make it sorry mark it out they make sure it fits properly at that top triangular part and then mark it out at that point then from that point now now that will now save as your waistline then from there now you're now determine the length of the very first flay that you're going to cut out that's the very first one before we go ahead to mark and then cut out the second flay so for me the measurement i took for the first flay for myself this was 17 inches so the reason why i took 17 inches was because i wanted something that i can actually use for church also so they really want something that was a bit short so if you look at that picture you see that the front part is a bit shorter okay and also the way she stood now made it very obvious so i didn't want mine to be like that i just wanted it to be just normal flay okay so that's why i had to go ahead and then use that 17 inches for the very first flay so once i was done doing that i had to open it up then i had to choose the parts i was going to be using as the front so i can go ahead to mark out or to cut out the excess the excessive parts from it so now i'm going to be marking 13 inches on it now now as you can see how i'm doing this i'm trying to reduce the flay on this side so i'm just trying to finish it up into the main uh, flay so now this is going to save as the very front sorry as the front part so this is where i'm going to be cutting out from this flay okay so yeah that is just it so you can definitely go ahead to make yours even more shorter than this if that's what you want so mind you this is the first flay we haven't cut out the second flay yet okay so that's just it so guys it was time for us to cut out the second flay but then this actually happened so as you can see at this other end now the fabric here is not really enough and also the fabric here is literally overlapping on each other the one on top of it so i and then actually need I have a need to spread this out properly so i can um definitely go around the down part of this of this particular flay that is on top here okay this is going to be like a layered or a third and uh, what is it called flay on this so this is not going to be enough so what i'm going to go ahead to do is to just cut the flay in sections and then i'm going to join them together so what i'm doing here at this point is to sew all the flays together so i have joined the ones you are going to be adding to the down parts of the flay as the main flay and i've also gone ahead to join the actual flay the first one and also the second one together so now we are going to move ahead to the blouse so right now i'm going to be placing the front and the back piece together and what you can see here is that the two pieces in front is actually overlapping on each other and that was what you were looking for so what i'm going to do now is to sew down on the shoulder of this blouse so once we are done doing that the next thing is for us to go ahead and then pick the darts we are going to pick the darts on both sides both on the front and also at the back part after doing that the next thing is for us to work on the sleeve so what we're going to be doing now is to open up the sleeve and then fold the edge in this manner we're going to fold it in such a way that we can pass a half inch elastic through it okay so this is actually a double bending method so it should be it should look something like this so it should be easier for the safety pin to pass through and also the elastic to also pass through here so after that um this is how the front part is looking like so i went ahead to pipe down the neckline all around all right so i actually used a piece of this very particular fabric to just you know fold it as if you are bending down the the uh, as if you're trying to hem the down part of the fa of a fabric so that's what i did around the neckline 
so right now um this is it i've already gone ahead to insert elastic on the hand on the sleeve sorry i like saying hand <laughs> on the sleeve so the next thing is for us to go ahead and attach the sleeve to the shoulder and also you're going to be inserting the rope here attaching a rope to this point because that's what you're going to be using to tie it around so this is the rope okay so this rope each of them is literally like let me measure this out so you guys can see so this rope here this is 20 inches 20 inches by 3.5 or 3 inches there about okay okay this is three inches so i'm cutting out two of this so you have to go ahead and fold them over like this sew this place down and also sew this down okay then you have to put pull it over just turn it all the way around the other side bring out the right side so i'll go ahead to attach this at this point so you have to sew it down properly so they can be held firmly on that part since that's the only place it has to be secured on so right now what we are going to do after attaching the sleeve to the shoulder and then we have our ropes ready what you're going to do is to go ahead and close in on the side seams so just go ahead and close but before you finish closing one of the sides you have to pick one either the right or the left you're going to be leaving a little bit of space here so that the rope can literally pass through okay the rope from inside the one you're going to be placing inside can literally pass through at this point so that's what you're going to be doing so the moment you're done with that you're going to go ahead and then bring in the flay so just go ahead and then bend okay just hem around this it's not gonna be easy because this place is literally large <laughs> so just go ahead and then hem around that and then attach the waist to the top part and that is just it so this is mine this is how it's looking like so far and this was on a sunday when i made this video so this is what I, how i looked like when i was going to church on that day so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section okay and when you be creative, please do also tag me so that I can see your own um outfit. So that's it. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, bye guys.